Ramsey today. Let's start with this. Today, uh, as he's getting on a flight headed to Lubbock, North Texas NIT championship coach uh, Grant McCaslin, a six-year, $18 million contract, former Tech and Baylor assistant coach. And then there's that note with Ross Hodge, who will be the replacement for Grant McCaslin. Not sure if that's been made official, but this makes it as official as you can get. Here's Grant McCaslin boarding an airplane. No, we can't use it. Okay, we can't use it. He basically said, let's go win some championships, wreck them, got on a flight, and it was headed to Lubbock, Texas. Good for him. Yeah, he'll do great there. And Scott Drew's tree, um, you know, the well, it, it's now like uh, like spreading like a crop, actually. It's, it's probably more than that because it's all over the Big 12 now. Three of the 12 coaches will be Scott Drew or – you know, former Scott Drew assistants, and um, I, I'm, I'm sure he's thanking his lucky stars that Paul Mills went to Wichita State and not, um, you know, another open Big 12 job. That, well, I guess there's not one that popped up, but, man, um, you know, Matt Driscoll's out there somewhere, and if he has a couple good runs with North Florida, I'm sure um, – you know, somebody might give them a call. So it's it is um, it's it's really great to see for those guys. It probably stinks a little bit for Baylor. Although, uh, if I'm Mac Rhodes, I'm going to start charging Kirby Hocut like fees for Commission. yeah for developing coaches for him. I guess, but uh, yeah, it's great for Grant. He's going to do a great job there. Um, you know, Scott well, they, they won last night. They beat UAB for the NIT championship. Uh, and what a way to end his run. And as I mentioned, Craig, yesterday, I saw a couple of North Texas fans saying that he's the best coach that North Texas has ever had. And uh, and good for him. He's now taking advantage of this opportunity. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, certainly an exciting moment for them last night. Uh, for UNT fans, they don't get, uh, you know, a ton to celebrate that is national, I guess. And uh, you had eyes on the NIT last night as, you know, we have the the last, you know, parts of basketball before it wraps up here in the next few days uh, but yeah they had a great team um, had a tremendous run there at North Texas and capped it off with a tournament victory and some history and some excitement and so he leaves them in a much better place than when he arrived you know as far as the what'd you say the greatest coach in UNT history I don't know enough about their programs to know who he'd even be compared to but I mean that's that's certainly possible, and if somebody from there says it, then um, that's you know an even greater compliment towards him, and uh, not all that surprising because he did very well there. So, yeah, I mean, he made his mark, and uh, clearly Texas Tech had already been talking with him. I mean, it was, it was, what, 30 minutes after the game? It wasn't even 30 minutes after the game was over the announcement was made. So yep. this was a done deal. That's why it's, you know, there hadn't been a lot of chatter surrounding that tech job for a little while now, it seemed like maybe on, you know, Red Raider sports, they were still like debating who the guy might be, but it was pretty clear that it was McCaslin for, I think a few days now. And, um, they landed their guy. I know that, uh, Joey McGuire and, you know, former player, uh, was a part of the search committee among others. And they had quotes from them, you know, at somewhere that I saw in one of the articles or one of the tweets or something like that. And, and they seem pumped up about it. It seems like he'll fit in great with just his energy and uh, with his commitment and obviously with his uh, his skill set. So I think it's a great hire for Texas Tech. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer if you're a Baylor fan because there is a connection. You just kind of feel like you're looking in the mirror, uh, probably if you're Scott Drew at this point. But that's part of successful, you know, coaching trees is you're inevitably going to run into some guys. You know, Coach K eventually ran into a guy or – uh, Roy Williams ran into a guy or, you know, Coach K had to run into Bob Knight, you know, yeah. yeah, I mean, so on and so forth. Everybody, you know, you coach long enough, you run into a guy unless you're just a really selfish jerk and you didn't, you know, produce anybody off your staff. And we know that's not the case with Scott Drew. So, yeah, all his flowers are starting to blossom now. And pretty soon, you know, yeah, we might see um, Matt Driscoll in the Big 12 or Alvin Brooks get that big job that he's been waiting on. And, you know, who, John Jacobs and, I mean, any number of guys. So I don't think we're, we're doing anything but just getting started in that regard. So great hire uh, and happy for him and, you know, best of luck to him. And hopefully we'll have Grant early next week on the show along with Ross Hodge when he's official with North Texas. But I do know this is that McCaslin was at Tech before he was at Baylor. He was on more recently, of course, Scott Drew's staff. He also, Dave Aranda used to be at Texas Tech. So there's been a little bit of this. I see a couple of Tech fans trying to make sure we even that out. And, and then also, by the way, it's great for Grant McCaslin. And hopefully he'll have the same kind of success he had in junior college and also what he did at North Texas. That was a nice, a hell of a game 
last night against UAB. Now it's 